guys. So I know you've been seeing her in a few of my videos and we just wanted to lead to 100% formally introduce ourselves and what we're gonna be doing with our channels. So this is my best friend, Casey. Hey guys. My name is Lisette. I know that I've never said it on any of my videos, but <laughs> my identity is out, I guess. Um, actually, it was kind of like a month ago, marked a year anniversary of the channel. So, hey. props to Lisette. <laughs> um, we wanted to go all out and get a cake, but you know, figured it was just two of us, so. No party. A little cupcake with one candle. But Maybe no. later. <laughs> Okay, so just so you know, just like a little backstory on both of us, we've known each other since we were 13. Yeah. 13, we're 21. So <laughs> <laughs> we've known each other a while. <laughs> yeah, so we met in middle school. We're so I think we, um, we know about each other's hair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so why not have her in my videos, right? Um, and so we kind of just wanted to give you a little backstory on her and why she's joining our channel and for you guys to know a little bit more about us in general. To make you guys as excited as we're gonna be about the new videos and new things that we're gonna be including in everything because she has like a whole new texture so it's like it's not just my texture it's her texture hopefully maybe somebody else we yes, can put in the girl. we can put in and it'll just open up the door to other new people that can figure out what to do with their hair and their curls. Basically, um, this is my hair just kind of like getting back to its normal um, curly self because for the longest time I actually had a lot of heat damage that I caused with um, the blow dryer and the straightener. Those, that so, yeah. Um, so I officially like got rid of my flat iron, never want to see it again. Um, and this is about a year's worth of growth since I stopped um, using the flat iron and cutting my hair and everything. And um, we're gonna make a little slideshow for you guys of what my hair was before the um, heat damage and then throughout and then after. So my hair is I think like tied between like 3A and 3B. It depends on the day really. My hair is like crazy. Sometimes um, the curls are like smaller than other days. Um, if it's humid outside, my curls get like really, really small and coily. It's just, it does its own thing. Um, and it also depends on the products that I use. Well, you guys already know if you've seen like my first, very first, first, first <laughs> videos that were like really crappy. Why I started, I started this channel, but it was just same thing like her. Um, when I first started doing my hair, she's been doing her hair like basically her whole life. But I started doing my hair like four or five years ago, around there, yeah, like six years ago, I don't know. And she was afraid to touch her own I, hair. I was like afraid of my hair and I would only go to the Dominican <laughs> salon. But when I started doing my hair, like I, I was so proud of myself and like so like amazed, like oh my god, I actually can control this thing. And so, like, I killed my hair with a blow dryer and a straightener, just like her. And so we kind of came together at the same time where we were like, you know, this is... We're done. We're that. done with this situation. We're embracing our curls. Exactly. So Even though my curls were, like, not curls, as you guys are going to see. Yeah, like... I, I would cut my ends because they look nasty. And then my hair would just stay, like, the same level. So I would keep cutting it and it's like, well, it's not growing. It would just kept getting shorter. So my hair straight was about this short. Yeah, and like her heat damage was just really, like, you could see it like on a, one curl here and then, it, you know, it was straight at the end or something like that. But mine was like, because my hair is not as curly and because I did do it like really, really frequently, um, it completely, completely changed the texture of my hair. And that you can't reverse. It's just like, the only solution is cut and grow, cut and grow and take care of it, obviously. We will each be filming our curly routines. Cause I, um, a few people have been asking me and then since we have her, we kind of wanted to like get everyone and get all the hair textures. Yeah, I, don't know. I think with the, with like the stuff that we use or how we do our hair, if you have hair that's similar to ours, like you'll be able to relate. Adjust. And, yeah. and even if you don't, 
um, I always say to people like you have to adjust to what you have and depending on how much I only like to have, wash my hair like twice a week if not I only wash it once a week right now actually like I washed my hair yesterday but before that it had been like four days so I'm doing it like twice a week tops three times a week yeah so Depending on some how lazy people, I am. <laughs> exactly. Some days it's like, okay, you came from class, I want to yeah. go to sleep. But some people, depending on their hair texture, they either, like, they can't last that long without washing their hair or they want to have, like, the perfect curls, mm -hmm. so they want to wash their hair. This one is like, oh, if my curl's not like this, and it's like this, and it's like that, like, whatever. So no. it all depends on... <laughs> I actually don't like my curls as much the first day. I like them more, like, the, the day next after. day, and then, like, the third day, like, the second and third day. Then the day after that is just like laziness usually, but <laughs> so yeah. Um, my hair today, I it's freshly washed, like it's still drying, it's still a little bit damp. That's why it's a little flat, but yeah, it's, it's really not. It's good. Oh, it's not. <laughs> well, I think it's a little flat. So yeah, like usually the second and third day hair is like the best looking hair because it's it has its hold, but it's not so like perfectly like curled like. It'll have yeah, I like volume. it to be like more messy, like I don't know, more voluminous. <laughs> so in the past, that would probably not be a cute look, like in my head. Like, it's, isn't it funny how like how far we've come though, like of like being well, like at least for me personally, personally, like I hated like just the overall like texture. Like I didn't like the way it looked because I would feel like oh I, I need to rewash my hair again because it looks like crap. It looked like it'll be really frizzy the next day because I didn't know the right products to use. Yeah, when I used to use like mousse and gels and all that kind of stuff, when I think I would wash like if I had my hair curly, which was not that often because I would usually like blow dry it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, if I had it curly, I would probably wash it if not every day, at least like every other day. I feel like I still see people who are who their hair is supposed to be curly. <laughs> And okay, we had still like the whole story. So we were out in New York one day and um, we saw this girl whose hair was like I don't know how to explain it. Like just straw. Her. It was just like just horrible. Horrible. We really are obsessed. <laughs> yeah, we look at everybody like, oh my god, that girl needs some conditioner <laughs> right now. Or I'm like, I should have my scissors with me and Cut that off. <laughs> so yeah, so we're always studying other people's hair and be like, in a way that we want to be like, we want to like, we want to go helpful. to everybody and like stop and like, do you know that this conditioner could be like very good for your hair or like whatever? So or like just put down the, the freaking blow dryer <laughs> or the straightener or yeah the flat iron. Just your hair will be wonderful without it. Like seriously. And the thing is about the the flat iron that when you use it and you you know you just straighten your hair or flipped it or whatever all the different things you can do with the flat iron looks great looks amazing and everything but the problem is when you wash out your hair and you try to just wear it naturally like It'll hello be like <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what's the point of using something that will make your hair nice if you use it and then when you don't it's like really crappy so. Um, we're gonna be giving you guys a few tips that we've both learned throughout this year that we've been on this hair transformation journey situation. So, um, look out for the next video that should be up soon on those tips.